Hi, Jeff Spira here. I'd like to tell you about plans available for some easy to build boats you can build at home, probably faster, easier, and less expensive than you might imagine. I'll discuss the various boat types and tell you a little about each of the models. The first type of boat is the western style drift boat, sometimes called the Mackenzie River drift boat. These are intended only to drift down rivers. You row just to keep them pointed downstream, not to propel them forward. The river current takes care of that. This one is the 13-foot Mackinac, my most popular design of this type. Here's another Mackinac. They'll handle rough whitewater if needed, and they're the standard fishing machines up in the Pacific Northwest. I also have a stitch and glue version, the 14-foot Riverman. Some people prefer stitch and glue construction over plywood covered wooden frame types like the Mackinac. I also have a bigger framed one called the Chinook. It's 17 feet long. If this looks more like the fishing you do in wider, slower rivers with occasional whitewater, you probably want a Midwestern type. These maintain a safe drift boat heritage of handling rapids but have lower size and a bit less rocker, making them easier to row and easier to hop in and out of for shore fishing. This is the Canadian, my 14-foot Midwestern type. It's easy, fast, and inexpensive to build and will handle just about any river or lake conditions you're likely to encounter. They're surprisingly light, too. Two people can hoist it on top of a car or into the bed of a pickup truck. This is my 16-foot version, the Yukon, my most popular Midwestern drift boat. This builder did a beautiful job. That's Okume plywood planking. Here's the Ozark Fisherman. At 75 pounds, it's a perfect for a one-person boat or a father and son project. You can car top it easily, yet stand and cast in a moving river. This picture was taken on this builder's maiden voyage in a trout stream in Idaho. The next general type of easy-to-build boat I'd like to talk about is the Grand Bank Story. These are a very old, very seaworthy design that I've updated with modernized materials and construction methods. These are rowing dories, though some of mine also have provision for low power and also sailing. You can see how well this little 65-pound, 13-footer handles these two adults. This Juno model dory is easily transported on top of a small car. This is one of my ultralight rowing dory designs. It can be made from just two sheets of mahogany plywood and weighs less than 50 pounds when ready to go. Yet it'll haul over 400 pounds and handle coastal seas. It's also probably the fastest open water boat you'll ever row. These come in two sizes, this 15-footer and a 20-footer for long-distance open sea passage making. I designed it for a family wanting to row the inside passage from Vancouver to Alaska. This is the 16-foot Nova Scotian. It's my most popular Grand Banks type. This boat comes in U.S. dimension drawings or metric dimension drawings using metric sized materials. Here's the 24-footer called the Labrador. Grand Bank stories like this have made transatlantic passages. This one's used offshore off the east coast of the U.S. The 16-foot Nova Scotian, 19-foot Alaskan, and 24-foot Labrador plans come with this easy-to-build sprit sailing rig to turn these into surprisingly agile and easy-to-handle sailboats. I have Grand Bank stories in several configurations from 13 to 27 feet long. Next come the Carolina dories. These easy to build boats are popular because they can be rowed or powered with ease and they can handle a heavy load and maintain their dory heritage of handling the rough stuff. They come from 14 to 27 feet. This is the 16 foot Oysterman, also available in metric dimensions. Here's the 18 foot version, the Carolinian. Now, there are a few better all around family boats in these Carolina types and they're amazingly economical to operate. This boat only takes about 25 horsepower to get you up on a plane. This 24-foot Key Largo planes with only 40 horsepower. You can count 15 people on that boat too. Imagine that. <laughs> this boat was built in the Philippines. Here's a Key Largo under construction. This one in Alaska. 
When I say these are easy to build, I mean anyone who can use basic hand and power tools can do it. No special skills are required. And look, it's made from plain old 2x4s you can buy at any Home Depot or lumberyard. Some people liked my Carolina types, but wanted a V-bottom so it would ride smoother in a chop. So I came up with a series of V-bottom Carolina designs. They come from 15 to 24 feet, the largest with a cabin. This is a 19-footer called the Hatteras. This one was built in New Zealand. If you like small, lightweight boats, I've got you covered, too. These uh, ultralight stitch and glue boats can be practically knocked out in a weekend or two. This is my 8-foot Back Bay Pram. How many 8-foot designs out there do you suppose are suitable for standing up in? This is a 13-foot Mission Bay. It only weighs about 65 pounds. Boy, this guy's lucky. I wish I could talk my wife into rowing me around while I kick back in the stern. <laughs> the Mission Bay also has English or optional metric dimension plans. There's also a series of V-bottom center console stitch and glue boat plans. These come in 16, 18, and 20 foot lengths. This one's the 18 footer, the San Diegan. I also have kayaks. This is my take on the sea kayak. I call it the Greenlander. Many of them have been built and people seem to love them. If you go to my site, you'll find out that this kayak, called the Huntington Harbor, may be downloaded absolutely free. A couple of weekends of work and about $75 in materials at Home Depot. And this could be you. This one's used to chase Arctic char in northern Canada. I also have a number of new designs. The first hulls are now under construction. Some of these are bigger too, like this 27-foot St. Pierre cruising dory, the Nufi. And this 27-foot mullet skiff, called the Chabasco. I'm working on some Sharpies too. This one's a 14-footer called the Inagua, named after one of the islands of the Bahamas. I intend to expand the line of Sharpies to include a number of larger designs as well. I'd like to invite you to stop by my website and take a look at all the great information there about boat building. There you can download my free ebook, Everything You Ever Wanted to Know About Boat Building. I also have free videos, construction photo essays, boat building articles, my blog, Boat Building Techniques and Tips, and much more. Remember, the Huntington Harbor plans are there also, absolutely free. I won't even ask you for your email address. On my site, all of the study plans for all the boats are also absolutely free. You can download them 24-7. This is the site, www.spirainternational.com. That's S-P-I-R-A international.com. Stop by and take a look. Then email me and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.